Almost a week after that brutal stabbing death of the little girl in Valley Springs, the killer is still on the loose. Today, the sheriff reassured people in the area that they're doing what they can to try and find the killer. Crown Force J.R. Stone has been in Calaveras County all week and talked with the sheriff. Layla Fowler lived on Ripon Road, and you can see directly behind me it is a road that is closed off during the daytime hours as officials six days later continue to process what is a crime scene. And you can see in this shot that they are not only on the inside of this house, but they are also on the outside of the house as well. The grass was two to three feet high in that yard, but that grass has been mowed down. And according to neighbors, officials went through that yard Friday morning with metal detectors looking for any evidence that could help them in the case. There are between 15 and 23 people working this case from the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. We spoke with the sheriff today who says he is determined to find this killer. Our department will not rest until we bring this responsible person to justice. I feel that we're getting closer and closer every day and we're going to have to rely now on, 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 on some of the physical evidence, the DNA prints, etc., etc. Sometimes these cases get, gets a little frustrating, all of a sudden you get a break. And we're looking for that one break. At this point, authorities have not given out a suspect sketch in this case, but they do say they plan on working with the 12-year-old witness here to see if that may be a possibility. In Calaveras County, J.R. Stone, Cronford News.